I'm out here in the garage working on this engine. I'm gonna try and get it buttoned up today. I'm gonna to test fit the supercharger on there. I've got a feeling I'm gonna to have to grind out these bungs. I'm gonna put some exhaust manifolds on there, tape it up, put some spark plugs in there. Uh, try and get it basically ready to transport, get it back over to where it's gonna be installed into the car. Let me show you a closer look at what I'm gonna be doing. So I got an intake manifold gasket, exhaust manifold gasket, I'm gonna put some spark plugs in there. And I'm gonna put these factory manifolds back on there because he just needs to get it in the car uh, so the car can be driven. I'm gonna test fit this lower intake manifold on there and the Eaton M112. Uh, one of the problems with the tech is of these bungs for uh, knock sensors, those are gonna have to get grinded out, I'm, I'm fairly certain. I'll test fit the lower on here uh, to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna have to be grinded off of there. So I want to get spark plugs in there and tape off anywhere that uh, the, you know, I don't want any of those sparks or anything flying into uh, anywhere where there's oil. So I'm going to tape off this engine, you know, like on the valve cover too, and make sure when I do go to grind on this thing that I'm not throwing sparks and molten metal inside the engine. All right, so first I'm going to go around, I'm going to take some of this painter's tape and I'm going to tape off anywhere where uh, it has uh, access to oil uh, so uh, the anywhere that has a hole to get into the engine I'm gonna put the exhaust manifold on here uh, but like on the valve cover here this spot it's gonna go all the way around it and uh, tape everything off for spark plugs I'm using NGK TR6s and I'm going to gap them down to about 34 thousandths all right, now that I got them all gapped, I'm going to put them in by hand, uh, get them started by hand, and then torque them down to about 10 to 12 foot pounds. All right, so I'm getting ready to put these exhaust manifolds on there, and the fasteners that I got, they came with a different set of exhaust manifolds or headers or something like that, but uh, they fit in here kind of tight, so I'm going to hand put them in by hand. Uh, with these heads being aluminum, you really want to be careful of the threads. So I'm going to put them in by hand uh, to make sure that they are able to, you know, get started and kind of clean up those threads a little bit. And then take them out and then put the manifold on there. And then these will be a lot easier to put in by hand uh, or at least to get started uh, after the bolts have been in and out of them. Because I just I don't want to cross thread any of them. You cross thread these heads. Uh, it's really easy because they're made out of aluminum. Uh, it can be really easy. So I'm going to run these down a little bit and then pull them out and then I'll put the exhaust manifold on. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put the exhaust manifold on. I'll put the part number for this down below. These are graphite uh, gaskets. They're probably not my first choice to use. I, I would rather use a multi-layer steel gasket. Uh, but these seal really well. The only reason why I don't really care too much for them is because they, they can be kind of messy the next time you you take them off of there but they seal they seal really well all right now that the exhaust manifolds on there these get torqued to about 20 foot pounds uh i usually start from the inside and work my way out uh so now i'm going to do the other side all right, I got the engine all taped off. I got everything sealed up as best I can so that I can now grind in this valley. So the main things that I take off are these two bungs for uh, knock sensors and then this little, there's a little pad down here on the bottom. So both these two bungs and that will get grinded off. And to do that, I'm gonna use a combination of this uh, cutoff tool, uh, the a little Dremel, tool and then this grinder to finish it off. So I usually hit it with a cutoff tool first and then grind it down as much as I can with the angle grinder. And don't forget your iPro. All right, I moved the engine to the center of the garage because this is going to throw some sparks out. I don't want it to be near anything that's flammable or anything like that. Also got a fire extinguisher on hand. Just take your time with it and uh, you'll be okay. <laughs> All right, so here's my first cut. Cut the bungs off, and I'm gonna get the grinder and grind them down. All 
Now that I got it all grinded, I'm gonna blow it off carefully. All right, and here's the after. You can see I ground down both the bungs and the little pad right here. Uh, so I'm gonna go test fit the lower on here, see if it fits now. I'm also gonna go ahead and replace this tape because there's gonna be a bunch of aluminum dust on the bottom side of it. So the gasket I'm gonna be using MS92562. Uh, this, I was testing this earlier and it, one of these tabs isn't going to fit on this. And so I just ordered this gasket for a 01 Cobra, thinking that it would probably work for an 0304. Uh, but I don't know if they, they don't have this little tab down here, uh, or what, but I think I have to grind this little tab off on both sides to get it, uh, to fit all the way on there correctly. Other than that, it looks like it lines up. Okay, so this is the tab that I need to grind off. So in order to do that, I'm just going to use this little rotary tool. And I'm going to do it on the other side too. And I'm going to set my gaskets down on here. And now to see if the lower intake manifold will fit on here. All right, that is, that is solid. It's sitting down flat, not rocking back and forth on anything. I can look through there and see there's plenty of clearance on the bungs. I'd say that's good. And now lastly, we'll set this blower down on top. Oh, well, that pretty much wraps up this engine. I'm gonna get this over to its owner. Uh, there might be a follow-up video on priming it once it's inside the the car. Um, if I, if there is, you know, make sure uh, subscribe, see see that new content coming out. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I think it went really well. It looks great. I like the black.